two parts salt, one, two parts salt, you use two parts ash that we got from our, there's, you'll find some of it is a bit lumpy, try and, you can either use pestle and mortar and you can break it down or you can just find the stuff that isn't quite so lumpy, the stuff that's a bit finer two of those and then black pepper if you have a look at the video i made last time you can actually use um you can actually write something down on a piece of paper for example protection oh this is going to take a while to do such as protection and you can burn it and you can add the ashes of that to your black salt with black salt you can add quite a lot of stuff to it if it feels right for you because a lot of it is intent and whether it feels right for you and so while you're doing it, this is making me cough, while you're doing it, you do have that intent that it is, it is for protection. So black salt can be used in a lot of different ways. I was mentioning you can use it um, to protect yourself against bad energy, such as you can put it um, in the four corners of your house. You can do it around the perimeter of your house, depends what sort of house you've got. You can put it across the entrance to your home like your front door um, you can put it on your windowsill you can use you can use it in a little pouch and keep it under your pillow at night you can have some little jar like this and put it on your bedside table um, you can keep it it's always a good idea to keep some salt or some black salt in your home, sort of at the, at the centre of your home anyway, to absorb negativity. But this is sort of not just negativity, this is sort of, as I was saying, this is, as we were talking about super smudging last week, this is um, super strength black salt. You did the super smudging last week. My husband coined the phrase super smudging last week. So this is... Not me to do that. Yeah, can you? Can, I need a whole spoon of it. Thank you. I'm just, I'm just there for a bit, don't you? Um, what it is, I'll explain it again. It's you've got your normal stuff, like you, like you keep your little pot of salt on your hearth so that um, it absorbs negativity, it absorbs bad stuff. But if you feel as if you're really being attacked, um, you want something that is like. We were talking about you do your normal cleaning and then you use you find your sink is clogged and it water isn't going down so you get your drain cleaner like your industrial drain cleaner in well this is like your industrial strength protection so we're not just using ordinary smudging we're doing super smudging we're not doing um ordinary salt or ordinary black salt we're using super strength black salt and um black salt like i said can be used in lots of different things you can use it in did I mention bath water? You can put it in your bath water and your shampoo that you use. You can use, you use, you can use it in the water that you mop the floor with. You can sprinkle it over the floor and you can like tread it in a little bit and then you can hoover it up. But do remember the black salt has got this in it. And you don't start sprinkling it all over white sofas or rugs or anything like that because you'll make such a mess makes such a mess it just won't ever come out so like you can wash your hair with it um lots and lots of different things there's loads and loads of uses for black salt so it's very very useful it can be used on its own as i said or it can be used in conjunction with a protection oil which is what i will show you next is it a level teaspoon of this? just a teaspoon will do i've got some on the table here as well so it was kind of going everywhere thank you so you've got your two teaspoonfuls of you've got your two teaspoonfuls of your sea salt you've got your two teaspoonfuls of your ashes from your super smudge last week and you've got one teaspoonful of black pepper that has just been ground just mix it together like this just mix it all together when you get rid of black salt, um, do remember that when you've you've finally used it and you've got rid of it, if for example you hoover it up, um, you need to make sure that you put the bin bag the, or the stuff that's come 
that you've hoovered up, like your hoover bag, your vacuum bag. Um, it mustn't be got rid of on your property. You can either take it away and you can burn it, or you can release the contents of like the bin bag into flowing water, um, which can be a stream or a river, or it can actually just be the toilet because that's flowing water and it's flowing away from your home. So you can do that as well. And when you've used black salt and you're getting rid of it, it's infused with all that negativity and that darkness. So obviously if you're using it in cleaning, um, such as a bath or your shampoo or something, it goes down the drain anyway. But if you are going to sprinkle it around and then hoover it up, do remember to get rid of it properly. Again, if you've got it by the side of your bed or in a little bag um, under your pillow or something, um, again, when you, when you feel as if you need to change it, which can be as little as just overnight or it can be uh, a couple of weeks, a couple of days, a couple of weeks, when you feel as if it needs to be changed, get rid of it properly. Don't just chuck it in the bin. Either burn it or put it in water that's flowing away from your house, even down the toilet, like I said. Right, so now that's quite stirred up. That's, that's what it looks like now. Can you see what it looks like? So it's, uh, as you can imagine, you don't really want to put that on anything that's going to get too stained because it, it will be horrible. And you'll get moaned up by the people in the house if you start sprinkling it all over the sofa or something. So there's that. Now you've got your protection oil here as well. Um, anything can be used as base oil. I'm actually using olive oil, but anything can be used as base oil. Um, you can use vegetable oil, you can use um, probably not mineral oil, um, it's more of a natural oil. You can use nut oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, anything like that. So um, you, need, you need to follow the recipe. Now if you're going to, I'm going to use an eighth of a cup. An eighth of a cup, sorry that's making an amazing sneeze. Thank you. Thank you. I've looked it up, I've googled it, an eighth of a cup is one tablespoon. And um, I'm using a special spoon. I'm using four because this is a recipe for two tablespoons or an eighth of a, uh, an eighth of a cup. So. so that is your base oil. There, put that on the table. Now, this is what we're doing. Um, you want quite a few different things for this, so you might have to, to look for things. Sometimes if you don't have exactly what you need, you can substitute things for it. Okay, I just went off um, to double check my amounts because I don't do this ever so often. I don't do this protection um, oil very often. It's, it's very powerful and you don't need to do it a lot. But what you will need is you will need lavender oil, rosemary oil, um, patchouli oil, Juniper, juniper berry oil. Now the rosemary and the juniper berry oil are in replace of hyssop because I don't have any hyssop, um, hyssop oil. So rosemary is always a great alternative, and juniper berry works just as well as hyssop oil in this particular in this particular mix we're doing. It's a very good substitute. So I'm using both of those as a substitute for hyssop oil, and also mugwort. But again don't have any mugwort. It's actually really difficult to get hold of. When I first mentioned it, my husband thought that I was talk doing, talking about something to do with Harry Potter. But no, I wasn't. There's a thing called mugwort. If you don't have any mugwort, you can use tobacco. Now, I don't actually smoke, so I asked a friend of mine if I could have one of her cigarettes, because so many people vape now. And she said she didn't actually have any cigarettes, but she does have, she smokes these little cigars. So, um, I actually bought one of these off her because I felt it was right to buy it off her rather than her gift. She said I could have it obviously, but I actually bought it off her. Now you don't need a lot of this and I've got loads of it all over the table now, but there you go. So that's your tobacco that can be used instead of mugwort. Right now, now for your amounts. Patchouli, which is pretty potent. Um, 
there we are, patchouli. So we want four drops of patchouli. So we count it. If you, if you make a slight mistake, it doesn't really matter. One, two, It's really quite potent. And you want three drops of lavender oil. This smells beautiful. One, two, three. That actually ended up being four, but it doesn't matter that much, as long as you've got basically right. Now, one drop of rosemary. That ended up being two. And one drop of juniper. That's got a nice smell to it as well. Ooh, that ended up being a bit more as well, but again, it's fine. It comes out so quickly out of these. And one pinch, I'll do a decent sized pinch of tobacco, because we have no mugwort. Spoon, mix it round like this. And this is where your black salt comes into it. You want a good pinch of black salt as well. So not a lot, obviously, but just, just enough. And then you can see what your oil looks like as well. It looks a bit disgusting to be honest, but that's what your oil looks like. So we've got your protection oil, your protection oil. Now that can be used, um, again, it can be used in the bath. You can add it to things like shampoo, to body wash, stuff like that. Um, and also you can use it to anoint a person um, on, like for their back, on their body, for example, you can anoint, for example, if you felt as if you were being attacked by a demon, you could anoint them with um, the sign of a cross with this oil. Um, in fact, there's quite a long, um, history of the church using oils and anointing people with oils as protection so um, you can you can certainly use it for that whatever your particular religion is you can you can use it for that um, you could anoint them with a cross if you um, are pagan or eclectic pagan or wiccan you could use it in the sign of a pentacle or you could use a sigil um, you could use a rune whatever whatever protection symbol you feel will work the best for you then you should use that you can use two or three if you want to there's there's no harm in using two or three but you can anoint the person um when i was doing it the person was sitting in front of me and um they just took the shirt off and i just anointed their back it was just the easiest place to to use i did a pentacle well pentagram sorry pentacle has got a circle around it i used a pentagram on their back and they sat with it for a little while and then they went and had a shower and the oil I put into their um, shampoo as well and body wash so they used it quite a lot. I mean I did say I've used this before and I have used it before and it worked really really well. Um, it worked remarkably well. It, it took a couple of days but it did work well. Now once you've got your black salt and your oil, keep your oil somewhere cool and dark. Um, I mean you can put it in the fridge, that's fine, put it in a little but don't let people um, don't let people use it like to fry with or something because it'll be a bit gross. Um, so keep it in the fridge in a little bottle. You can put a date on it, put a little um, label on it. Um, I'm not going to bottle it myself because I'm going to be using it um, next week because next week I will be showing you how to use this that you've made now in conjunction um, with uh, candle magic and other things that we're using next week to perform a ritual to banish um, this negativity, this, this dark spirit, this, this um, bad stuff that's in your home, actually out of your home. So we've got oil that can help individuals, um, we've got salt that you can use yourself really easily. I mean you can anoint yourself with oil as well, there's no reason why you can't anoint yourself or ask somebody to do it for you. Um, we've already done the smudging and what we'll do is next week we'll see how to bring all these things together, which can be used separately, we'll see how to bring them all together to perform one ritual to finally get that, that thing gone out of your home, out of your life and free you up. So um, please watch next week, um, please recap last, last week's if you haven't seen last week's, 
Um, as I said, the um, thing about making black salt, I will actually link that in the description below. And um, please like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss it when it's released. I release a video usually every weekend, often on a Saturday, but sometimes it ends up being Sunday because I have lots of other stuff on. And um, yeah, so uh, see you next week. <laughs>